Hello everyone, this is Tina. Uh, in this video, we are talk about the second solution to solve n plus one problem. And the solution here is called a join fetch. Actually, we talked about join fetch before when we talk about the joins, right? I mentioned the join fetch. Did I mention? Uh, I couldn't remember. Anyway, if I didn't mention that, I will mention now, okay? Uh, I couldn't remember, not that 100% is sure. So join fetch is very, very similar to the entity graph we talked in the last video to solve the n plus one problem. The difference between them is join fetch gonna using inner join. Entity graph is using a left out join. What's the difference between inner join and the left out join? Suppose we have a customer and the customer have a collection of, uh, uh, no, 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 uh, let's give a uh, simple one. I have customer, customer have address, right? Suppose we using entity graph. If the customer one doesn't have address, when we using entity graph, customer one will also be included inside the result set. But when we using join fetch, it using inner join because address is none for the customer one. So customer one won't be included in the result set. That's the difference, okay? Which means inner join doesn't allow the nullable, okay? Uh, no, 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 doesn't include uh, non joins. Can I say that? Anyway, if you still have question, leave me leave me a comment, okay? Uh, inner join and the left out join, you can also take a look at it by yourself, okay? Not part of this uh, uh, video's purpose. This video is to solve n plus one problem. So let's go to the demo. Uh, I'm gonna continue using the same demo. Previously, we're using entity graph, right? I just make a comment, okay? I make a comment here. And then this is the uh, uh, first solution uh, using entity graph. And uh, we're gonna using the second solution, which is a join uh, query. So, uh, sorry, so join fetch. So if you get the demo, you can just uh, uncomment to practice both of them, uh, okay? And here, we still write a typed query. By this time, you're using the join fetch to create a query by yourself. We do not using any hint. Here, we join everything by yourself. Customer, make sure you're using capital case. Make sure your customer here match to our entity. Uh, what's the entity? What's the uh, entity name, okay? And uh, here, we were using join fetch. Suppose here I have to join fetch address. So here we join fetch C dot, what's the address. Okay. And we need to also join fetch this books. So continue. Join fetch, okay. C dot books. Okay. And uh, the books here, we also need to join this author. So continue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, here we have to give an alias for the book because the author is related to the book. Okay, we we'll give alias to the book. B, okay. Book, join, fetch. B dot, what's the author. And uh, that's it for our, if you have other where condition, other things you can do it, okay. Customer, ASTM, customer dot class, okay, and have this one. The, that's it, okay. We're using join fetch. And for the join fetch, the address, books, and the author will be in the result, uh, no, 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 will be in the cache. So here you don't need to using select C because it's not uh, included in, inside your result set. It's just put it in the cache. So when you need them, it's just grab from a cache, okay? So now let's run, okay? Nothing, no other things you have to do because you join fetch manually here, okay? 
So when we do, we will still see one query and for other get address, get books, it shouldn't have query. If it have query, then something is wrong. Okay, now I see here, this group back. See here, no query, 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 no query. And here you have only one query. And this query, yes, because of this query we wrote here, join fetch query. And you can see join fetch gonna turn into the inner join, okay? Because join fetch is what? It's the JPK stuff, okay? It's a JPA stuff, it's not a SQL stuff. SQL doesn't have a join fetch. Let's move, 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 move. Okay, here. Join fetch using inner join. See here, inner join address and inner join books, and then inner join uh, author. Where is it? Okay, inner join. And when you're using entity graph, it's gonna using left out join. Okay, that's the difference between them. Uh, personally, I prefer to using join fetch because entity graph like I uh, when I I oh sorry for entity graph I need to remember the APIs okay too many things to remember and also for this hint I have to make sure this string here is uh, correct like uh, last video I forgot what is this part uh, then we have to check the API but join fetch is easy right if we no join you just add a fetch there so everything works to solve the n plus one problem. So that's it for this video talking about uh, join fetch to solve the n plus one problem. And if you still have other questions, you can leave a comment. Okay. And if you like my video, please subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.